I cruised down Highway 90 to Patterson, and even though the weather wasn't so inviting that day, I managed to stay dry at one of Louisiana's official state museums. It's actually two museums in one, the Waddell Williams Aviation Museum and the Cypress Sawmill Museum. You probably wonder, how would these two industries be linked? Jimmy Waddell was born in Texas. He lost his parents by the time he was a teen, but it was mechanically inclined. His hobbies included transforming bicycle parts and gas motors into automobiles. Now, while expanding his hobbies, he managed to build a flyable aircraft from two crashed ones, and aviation became his passion. He ended up staying behind during World War I because of an eye injury, but his younger brother, Walter, joined the Navy. As a self-taught pilot, he was barnstorming and eventually running guns and rum along the Texas-Mexico border. His home-built planes eventually were no match for the new planes now patrolling the border, so he decided to start building newer, faster planes. Harry Williams was the son of a wealthy lumber company owner. Williams had a passion for speed, whether it be cars or boats. He met Jimmy Waddell in the late 1920s. Waddell had sold him a plane that was a duplicate of the Lindbergh plane that had just crossed the Atlantic. When the lumber company closed in 1929, Jimmy and Harry formed the Waddell Williams Air Service. Patterson became the hub for Louisiana aviation and at one time had the largest privately owned fleet in the world. They created the first commercial airline for Louisiana, had the contract for mail between New Orleans and Houston, but the team's need for speed kept them racing. Jimmy broke the 300 mile per hour barrier in 1933. Unfortunately, Jimmy was killed in a test crash in 1934. At the time, he was recognized as the speed king of the world. Tragedy struck again in 1935 when his younger brother Walter died in a crash over the Gulf of Mexico. And less than a year later, Harry Williams died after a takeoff following a conference with the governor in Baton Rouge. Williams' wife eventually sold all the assets of the company and was rolled into what would eventually become Eastern Airlines. Many of the planes and other memorabilia are on display at the museum. On the other side of the museum highlights the history of the Cypress lumber industry in Louisiana. Prior to oil, Cypress was king in Louisiana. The coastal swamps boasted some of the largest cypress trees in the region and the most plentiful. New techniques were used to bring cypress from the depths of the swamps. Patterson at one time was the home to the largest cypress sawmill in the world, owned by Frank B. Williams. Over 20 years ago, the Louisiana State Legislature designated Patterson as the cypress capital of Louisiana. The museum features artifacts that bring the story of the industry to life. Patterson also holds the Cypress Sawmill Festival in April.